Hey, I'm Lauren Karens, Creative Director of Fox & Jane Salon. Up next, we're gonna show you how to create those girl crush worthy glam waves. We're gonna be doing some Hollywood glam waves, but we're gonna do them with a little bit of a modern twist, meaning that they're a little softer and they're not totally overdone. I've gone ahead and I've prepped Madeline's hair with something called a One Prep by r Co, which is just a great overall setting spray before I curled, and we also added a light hole hairspray section by section. I've already prepped this section. If it starts to feel too silky, you can go ahead and spray it again. Always hold your product about 10 inches away and just give it a light coating. We don't want to bog the hair down with heavy products. That will ultimately work against you when creating your curl pattern. This is a curl pattern that I would not otherwise recommend for you guys without breaking it up, just because it does look a little bit dated. It's a tight curl and every single piece is wrapped the exact same way all the way around the head. So you can just see their curls are very uniform, very Shirley Temple-ish. So I'm gonna show you how I did it. You can actually go horizontally so that these curls around the face are working their way back. I'm gonna go ahead and leave her bang section out. I always like to do the bangs last. That way I can perfect them and I can kind of um, sculpt it just to be customized for her face and for her look. I'm gonna go to the piece right ahead of that. Always get the hair out of your way. And my piece here is pretty fine. The finer the section, always my rule, the more curl you'll get. I'm using a Hot Tools one inch curling iron today. I love Hot Tools. I feel like it's a great iron, super safe. 10 settings, I actually have her all the way on a 10 because her hair is really silky and healthy. Her hair wore blonde, previously colored, had a lot of bleach or damage. I would actually cool this down to probably something more like a seven to an eight. But her hair is really silky, really healthy, so we're gonna go with full heat. I'm curling this diagonal back section away from her face and always start your curl closer to the root, curling the ends last. Now for this particular look, I am curling the ends of the hair as well. So I'm just tick-tocking, rolling up, getting the root, tick-tocking down to the end, rolling up. One, two, three, four, five, and I'm just gonna let it fall right into my hand. I'm gonna just catch that little curl and hold it. You can even kind of like pinch it. As you can see, it's just a perfect little curl. Um, the reason I'm doing that is because her hair is so naturally silky. I do want to maintain that while it's set. I'm just going to get more longevity out of my look later. So once I just feel that cooling after even maybe three to five seconds, I'm going to go ahead and let it fall. And as you can see, it really just now wants to live there. So I've done this all the way around her head. I'm going to divide this into two sections, working my way back, just kind of fingering this through. I've already brushed it out, so I don't really need to worry about picking up my brush each time unless your hair is prone to being tangly. Again, I'm going to pick up my one inch barrel. I'm going to put my tongue by her face and I'm going to roll back. If you roll forward, you will get more of a vintage look. But in this situation, I want this to take a modern feel. So in modern styling, we tend to roll hair back away from the face. And again, I'm just tick-tocking out. I'm going pretty close to the scalp. Obviously, I don't want to hurt her. I'm making sure all of my ends are in there. I'm tick-tocking it out. And I'm just going to catch this little curl. Even if it falls, just pick it right back up. It's pretty hot in your hand, so just be careful. You just want to let it cool for maybe three to five seconds. And just let it fall. When I see that little end, I know it's kind of right at the end there. It usually means time. I mean, if you're doing it fluidly, it probably means it doesn't need to sit too much longer either. You can also always flip it upside down like this to let the curl catch in your hand. A couple things to watch for. We don't want to put any kinks or waves into her roots. We really want this look to kind of start right around her eyebrow. Um, if we go tighter, again, it will get more curly and more vintage, but I don't think it's totally necessary for our ultimate goal. I'm gonna come back here and I'm just gonna take a look at this beautiful face. And what I see is that, again, right at that cheekbone is where I really want this to be dramatic. So I'm not gonna go an inch. I'm gonna go more like two to three inches away for this very front section. Let it heat, drop that curl in your hand, and just holding it. Now this is a look I get a ton of requests on because you'll see me do this on my social media a lot to finish off a hair color. And I get a lot of girls messaging me asking how I achieved that look. As you can see, it starts to kind of want to do it for you. So you're gonna just keep combing. I go back and forth between a flat paddle brush and a boar bristle brush. This is a styling brush. This is something we use in editorial styling, but really any square boar bristle brush would do. The difference is with a boar bristle brush is you're gonna really start to create shape. With a paddle brush, you're gonna break up curl. 
You can already see it's starting to want to create this shape. Once you've set the hair in uniform curls, meaning that every curl goes the same direction all through the head and starts from the top and goes to the ends, once you brush it out, it should do this for you pretty effortlessly. So what we're really doing is we're trying to connect these waves. And you can't really overbrush it. Once that curl is set, you're just creating, you're sculpting. And I love these soft waves coming back from around her face. And I'm actually just gonna shape them in with my hands. I love it for a date or for an evening out or even for something like a black tie event or a wedding. This is so elegant. The last thing that I do, which is my secret little trick, I don't know if you can see, but there's a kind of a, a lot of little flyaways. This is totally normal. Madeline has very healthy hair, but even the best hair has kind of some textural flyaways. So what I'm gonna do is take Art & Co's Light Hold Hairspray, and I'm actually gonna follow the hairline, and exactly where you see that dent, I'm gonna push in. And I'm actually gonna set it in using my product. Now, I've done two things at once. I've enhanced that wave line, and I've also controlled some of these flyaways. And I'm gonna do the same exact thing at the second point. I also use it because I just don't like to get my hands sticky. So even when I'm doing the top of my hair and I'm finishing a look for a photo, I'll just use the can to remove any flyaways so it's completely photo ready. I'm really happy with the way this came out, and one of the things I realized that I'm doing in order to kind of finish the look is I'm actually kind of just taking my spray really lightly and I'm actually kind of pinching the hair around her face. I love this kind of hard curl here blending into the big wave. And then I took my paddle brush and I kind of just finished these ends around her face. Perfect. And that's how we create super easy vintage glam waves with a fresh twist.